Hi there, today I'm going to show you how you can use Render Forest. Render Forest is a platform that offers you a selection of tools that you can use if you want to create videos, website, logos, mockups, and design. Today we're going to try some of their features and to do that we're going to have to sign in to Render Forest first. If you don't have an account yet, you can go ahead and create it for free. But I already have an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. We're going to start by creating a video. As you can see over here, when you click on the video drop-down menu, you can see that there's a lot of videos that you can create, whether it's animations, intros, video editing, slideshow, music visualization, presentation, etc. For today, we're going to learn how to create animations video. As you can see over here, when you click on animations video, Render Forest has a lot of category that you can choose. For example, you can create explainer animation, product or surface promotion animation, mobile app promotion, typography, greeting cards, food and hospitality video, Christmas, and so on. And if you scroll around the templates selections over here, you're going to find a lot of templates that you can use, like these ones are going to make Instagram stories, and the other one are quick typography pack, while the other ones are factory 3D animations, and so on. You can choose any of these templates, but you need to also pay attention to the one that are marked with premium symbol. So I decided to choose this pack template for today, and I'm going to use the social media promo video to create the animation video. As you can see over here, the template that I've chosen come with several frames. It also comes with element in each frame of it, as well as the wordings. Each of these elements and wordings are totally customizable. For example, if you would like to change the wordings on one frame, you can just go ahead and click on the text box, or you can also change it directly from the text box that appears on the left side of your screen. For example, I'm going to change the wording that was provided and I'm just going to type it out and later on you can see that it also shows on the frame that I am working on. If you click on the three little dots on the right corner of each frame, you will have the options to duplicate or to delete your frame. So you can change the wordings in your frame but if you want to change the font of your wordings then you can only do that if you upgrade your account from the free one to the pro one. And here is the price for the pro account. You can pause the video if you would like to read or you can just go ahead and go to Render Forest and read more about it over there. Now you can also change the duration of your frame by clicking on the pencil symbol on top of your frame and you can just slide around the bar to Customize your frame duration. Some frame came with a element that allows you to insert your own pictures. As you can see over here, this box right here shows that you can actually upload your own pictures and put it inside of there. To do that, you can just go ahead and click on the box and then you can click edit or you can directly upload your pictures. You can also create logos, add text, image URL, or you can also remove that particular box. To add more frames, you can go ahead and click on the plus signs on the very end of your video. And then Render Forest are going to show you selections of frame or scene that you can put inside of your video. If you see a crown symbol on top right of your scene, it means that that scene can only be used by premium users and you might not be able to see it on the preview later, but if you would like to still see it on the editing mode, you can go ahead and do that. Once you're done editing your video, you can now go to the next step, which is to determine or to choose the style of your video. As you can see here, Render Forest offers a selection of style that you can choose and for today I'm going to go ahead with this blue background one and after that I can also choose the transitions to each frame. And we're going to skip the font section because like I told you, if you want to change the font on your video, you can only do that with the Pro Plan account. 
And the last thing that we can change is the textile. The textile section allows you to change how the wording appears in each frame. You can also add some background music if you want. And here, after you finish with everything, you can go ahead and preview your video. If you want your video to be previewed in HD, you can only do that with premium plan. For today, we're going to see the preview with the free account. And here I can see that the templates that I was using have several pro frame on it. So if I want to see my preview, I can only do that if I remove the pro frame from the entire video. And here is the result of the video. Now that we know how to create a video, I'm going to show you to create a logo with Render Forest. As you can see here, there are selections of things that you can create with the logo maker of Render Forest. So to start off, I'm just going to go ahead and click on create a logo. Now, to create your logo, you can either insert the name of your business if you already have one, or if you don't know what to put inside of that text box there, you can go ahead and click on this AI business name generator. And if you choose the AI name generator, what you're going to do next is that you're going to have to describe your business in one sentence so that the AI are going to be able to create the logo as close as your business theme as possible. And here I'm just going to try to make a logo for a small bakery that sells homemade cookies and then I'm going to go ahead and click generate. And here are the results of the logo that the AI has already made for me. For now I'm going to scroll around and see if any of these logo ended up catching my eyes. I ended up liking this the cookie co one. I like the color as well as the symbol that it shows me. I love the cake, I also love the font and everything, so I'm just going to go ahead and customize it. Now in this section, you can try and play along with the elements that the template already gave for you. For example, right here, I'm trying to flip my cake horizontally as well as vertically. I can also adjust the opacity of the element and if I want to change the brand name, I can just go ahead and click on the text box, another name. If you ended up liking the first name after you change it, what you want to do is that you can just go ahead and click Ctrl Z on your keyboard and it's going to undo the last things that you do to the logo. To change the background color, you can just simply click on the background and then choose the color that you want from the selections of color over here. But if you don't like any of the color that Render Forest provided, you can go ahead and click on this colorful box over here and then you can just play around with this box and try to find your desired color. I tried adding some more element to my logo but I ended up not liking it. So I ended up going back to square one and just use the one that was generated by Render Forest. And here is how my logo will look like if I ever put them on printable stuff or if I post the logo on social media. You can choose to download your logo if you would like. There are selections of options that you can choose. You can either download it as JPEG or a PNG. But the GPEG that you can choose are the one that comes with the background color. If you want your GPEG to have no background at all, then you're going to have to upgrade to the pro or paid account. And that is how you can create your own video as well as logo with Render Forest. Please feel free to play around and also to explore the other tools that Render Forest have. 
And that's it for today. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.